All right, this is a very short video to show you what tracking a satellite in GPredict would look like. There's a problem with doing recording and tracking at the same time because it makes the computer run very slow. So what you're looking at right now is the GPredict rotator control. This is a very useful menu as it shows you what the azimuthal reading and the elevation reading are for both of your motors. You can also get a lot of useful information like polar plots of the satellite's trajectory, you can get elevation and azimuth by time, and you can even generate this very useful graph that shows you in red the tracking range of your ground station and in blue the trace of the satellite you are trying to track. So right now a satellite AO51 is in range and you can see if I was to right click here on AO51 and click future passes you can see times in UTC, which is universal time, and you'll have to convert that to central in our case, for all the flybys of AO51 propagated through in time. And if you want to use the command prompt to control the motors, this is an example of what the readout would look like. It shows you a lot of information in time.